Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hopefully, you're having a good day. My name's Andy. My channel is Finding Value. And today, I'm going to talk about investment mistakes. This is a part three of a whole bunch of videos that I'm going to release uh, for newer investors. So I'm going to cover investment mistakes. These are common, even if you're new, if you're seasoned, a lot of people make these mistakes. So I want everyone to be aware of the investment mistakes that people can make. Let's jump into the presentation about investment mistakes. So investing with margin. I understand a lot of people are probably seeing gains in their portfolios uh, that they've never seen before if you've been a part of this channel investing in some of the companies that we talk about. And I also understand the allure of borrowing money to try and make more money. What I'm going to say is be careful using margin. I think it is a mistake. We are in highly leveraged companies to the price of commodities, and they can be quite volatile. This can wipe out capital very quickly on a pullback if you are highly leveraged. And even if you aren't highly leveraged, losses get compounded. So be careful. Pullbacks in bull markets. We can have 50% pullbacks in bull markets to shake out people of their position. Margin will shake you out that much quicker, trust me. We use market conditions and ratios to ensure we still look good for the bull market. And I'll go over what that is in later videos. The leverage is great enough where I don't think you need to be using margin. And margin is borrowed money to buy stock, where you have to pay some brokerage account or bank interest on borrowed money. I just don't think that's a good idea. Now, making money, making money is about the work you do up front, about the research that you do on the companies and on the market conditions and sectors. Then it's a whole lot of twiddling your thumbs over the years, waiting for your investments to appreciate and pay out. The greatest gains come literally from doing nothing when you're investing. If you feel like you need to do something, get another job to make more money to invest. I would not be trading in and out and trying to do all these positioning, gaming things of trading. Do something that makes more money to invest. Trading in and out of companies all the time, I think, is a mistake. So, crucial mistakes. I'm going to go over a bunch of mistakes. Chasing prices, that is a mistake. Not understanding value and selling early, that's another mistake. Getting caught in sectors at the wrong time, which means you don't understand market conditions. Not subscribing to this channel is a very big mistake. <laughs> Entry points, they are crucial. Incorrect position sizing can hurt you in the long run. You can wipe out a good size of your portfolio if something goes wrong. And not researching companies well enough or mutual funds or whatever it may be. So my mindset. I have to be invested with the opportunities that are so great and the chart patterns so right that I can't not be in some. I always focus on the opportunities, and if you have a bumpy ride to get there, that's okay. That's okay with me. The valuations have never been this cheap in commodities, and I think we have some life-changing investments ahead of us. I've burned into my memory being out of the market when commodities went vertical last bull market was a huge, huge mistake. And you know what? It's not going to happen this time. It's not going to happen. So when to go big? When do you go big? When valuations are where they're at and market conditions are changing, and we can see those market conditions changing, that's when you want to go big. This is the time to make the bet. This is the time to swing for the fences. This is the time to take your speculative money and put it to work. But again, don't bet the farm on a single position, don't use margin, and don't be scared out. Diversify your approach. Being in a diverse group of sectors can smooth out volatility. Being in a diverse set of companies in a sector can further reduce risk and volatility. Precious, you know, physical precious metals and using swapping methods off ratios can also increase ounces with low risk. And royalty companies sometimes trade differently than mining companies. 
Get explorers and producers. Make sure your investments track the commodity price movement and they are leveraged to it. Because if they are not tracked to it and they are not leveraged to it, you might as well just buy the physical metals. So the conclusion here is commodities are volatile. Be careful using margin. Diversify among sectors and companies to reduce volatility. Sometimes doing nothing is what you need to do. Get invested when the opportunities are big. Avoid crucial mistakes and get the mindset right. Focus on what drives you. So, we've got crucial mistakes here, investment mistakes. I don't want you to continue to make mistakes over and over and over that can really hurt you and harm you. I want you to be locked in, do your research up front, avoid these mistakes, and you're going to have to live through some volatility on these, you know, these big pullbacks. You're going to have to get used to it. I understand that. We're entering a very large opportunity area for commodities. So I'm going to show you why that is. Um, the next series is going to be value and price and understanding the differences between those two. And I'll go into ex what exactly I'm doing for value, what I'm exactly doing for price, and how we want to see the mismatch between those two, because that tells us that it's time to invest. If we see the values at historical lows, and we see that the prices are very cheap, then we invest. It's that easy. So if you like this content, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.